What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the top hidden features of iOS 8. Now if you guys haven't checked out my top 20 features of iOS 8, there's a ton of hidden features in that video. So if you want to check that out, then go ahead and click on the link in the description below. Now for this video, I'm not going to be overlapping any of those features, so these are all brand new features that I haven't showed you guys yet. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to show you guys is in the Safari app. So let's go ahead and open that up. And you can see right here that I'm actually on the mobile Apple website. So sometimes you actually want to request the desktop site just because the mobile sites don't always have all the features that the desktop site has. So it's actually pretty simple to do this. Now you can just tap on the URL bar, you swipe down, and then you're going to get this option right here to request the desktop site. So if we tap on that, you can see that it automatically loads up that new desktop site. So that's actually pretty nice. Now the next thing I want to show you guys in Safari is if we bring up the tab view and let's say that we have a bunch of tabs open right here and we accidentally close one of the tabs that we want. Now you can see right here if we open up the tab view again we can tap and hold on the plus button and this is going to give us our recently closed tab. So that's actually really nice and it gives you the ability to quickly open up that recently closed tab. Now the next thing I want to show you guys is the share panel right here. Now this is going to obviously work anywhere that you have a share panel, but you can see if we tap and hold on an icon, we can actually rearrange these very easily. You can also do that right down here. Now if we swipe over to the left, you can see that we have this more button and it's basically going to give you the same functionality as tapping and holding and rearranging. You can just grab this little grabber and rearrange these however you'd like, or you can toggle off specific ones like Twitter, Facebook, and photos. So you can see right there that they're gone. So let's toggle these back on right here. And we're going to close out of that and jump into the camera application. Now this is a really cool feature in iOS 8. So you can see right here if I tap to focus you actually can change the exposure right here just by swiping up and down. So again if we tap to focus and then swipe down you can change the exposure. So this is actually going to be incredibly helpful for those of you that take a lot of photos on your iPhone. Now if we jump into the settings here, you can see if we scroll down to general, tap on usage, and we're going to tap on battery usage right here. You're going to see once this loads up, you have your battery usage broken down by specific applications. And you'll also notice that you have a battery usage for home and lock screen right there, which is actually the majority of my battery usage right there. So this is going to be really nice. I mean, it gives you a more granular look of how your battery is being used. You have the last 24 hours right here, as well as the last seven days if you tap right here, and that's going to give you the breakdowns. So that's actually pretty nice. Gives you a nice look of how your battery is being used. Now if we go back here and we scroll down to our messages, you can see right here if we tap on this and scroll all the way down, you have a new feature that allows you to change the amount of time that you store your messages. So you can see right here that you have forever, 30 days, or one year. So if you change this up, let's say if we tap on 30 days, it's going to give you a little prompt that says this will immediately delete messages older than 30 days. So you can just tap delete and then it's going to completely delete every message that's older than 30 days. Of course it's going to do the exact same thing with one year, but if you have it ticked on forever, then obviously it's not going to delete any of your messages. Now another kind of cool little feature that I found is if you go to the lock screen here and you start to swipe up on the camera, you actually get a live feed of the camera as you're swiping up. Now this is different from iOS 7 because it was just a black screen and then once you completely loaded it up then it would load up the camera. So just a nice little feature that you have right there for iOS 8. So let's go ahead and unlock our device again. Now if we jump back into the settings we actually have a new feature in our Find My iPhone. So if we scroll all the way down here and we tap on Find My iPhone, you're actually going to see a new toggle right here that says Send Last Location. Now what this does and what it says right here is it automatically sends the last known location of this iPhone to Apple when the battery drains to a critical level. So basically if you lose your iPhone and it's out somewhere out of sight, out of reach, and it's just sitting there draining battery, when it gets to that critical level it's actually going to send the location directly to Apple which will hopefully allow you to retrieve your device. And let's go into the Photos app. So now if we jump into one of these albums, and let's say we're just scrolling through here and we accidentally delete one of the photos. Now usually it's gone forever. But with this, with iOS 8, you can see that it's actually created a brand new album called Recently Deleted. 
So if we tap on that, it's going to give you that recently deleted photo. And if we tap on the photo, then you're going to get the ability to delete the photo completely and forever, or you can recover that photo. So if we tap on recover, you can see that you recover the photo. Also, if you tap delete, then it's going to delete this photo and that cannot be undone. So let's go ahead and recover the photo. And you can see right here that the photo has been recovered and is directly back in my album. Now the last thing I want to show you guys is swiping up on the control center. So you can see right here as I swipe up, the springboard actually dims in the background right there. Now that's not anything new, that's native to iOS 7. But the new thing with iOS 8 is actually when we tap on the slider, you can see that it actually brightens up back there. So it's going to give you a live feed of what that brightness is. Unlike iOS 7, when you swipe up, it's going to dim that background. The only thing that would actually brighten while you were sliding this brightness slider is the control center. So that's actually pretty nice that it's giving us that live feed of the springboard right there. And that little feature right there is actually directly from a jailbreak tweak. So I was thinking about doing a video of jailbreak tweaks that were implemented into iOS 8. What do you guys think about that? If you want to see that, let me know in the comments below and also by hitting that like button on this video. And if you guys want to see more iOS 8 coverage, then make sure that you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time. Peace.